Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover today, including the first big news on Earth's magnetic field from ESA Swarm in months. We start with a goodbye to the sunspots at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star with those active regions turning towards the far side, solar flaring becoming less of a concern. The sunspots had released a few CMEs towards Earth at the start of the week. First was expected to arrive yesterday, and if it hit, was too weak to show up in the telemetry. Geomagnetic conditions are calming down still. We will be watching the data today to see if the CMEs arrive. Got shots out of India where one storm came through quick and hard. Hail and wind took out a number of trees and even caused two deaths. Let's go to the ESA taking a better look at weather and water cycles from the smallest scale runoffs and waterways to major atmospheric oscillations and other patterns, where the water goes, how long it stays there, and our access to it. In the slightly less accessible category, Antarctic ice. Nifty elevation map of the ice at the South Pole here, also by the ESA. This complements their sea surface salinity map they put out as well. Quite the multimedia week for them actually, and more coming. But coming to Cornell next, we have a new way to form volcanoes. No longer do we require one plate diving beneath another, but rather the rising of water and crystal-rich material. And we're back to the ESA. They're planning to better map the interior of the planet, taking in all the available data, including the magnetic fields and electrical conductivity. Let's jump out next to the formerly oceaned and now red planet Mars. Rover's next few years are planned out, and it's basically running up a former waterway looking for clays that formed in the water long ago. Up next, it's the red planet, our planet, the sun, the cosmos, and allegedly everything everywhere, at least most of it. That's right, we're back to the absurd claims of super heavy dark matter, and in this case, we're talking about something with the mass of now not millions to billions of protons, but trillions of protons. They are literally chasing ghosts, and it's all to trick governments into building them a super, super collider and fund their field for half a century. So let's go to the ESA one more time for the top story. North Magnetic Pole indeed racing faster and faster. They are still not able to account for the new faster motion, which exceeds the entirety of the known record, and the North Magnetic Pole is now moving southward towards Siberia. Part of what required the 2019 out-of-cycle World Magnetic Model update was this extra motion, which has now blown past the geographic North Pole and is heading down to meet the south. One of our most watched videos ever is called Energy from Space, and it is about this event currently unfolding, Magnetic Reversal of Earth. Top recommendation, linked below. Also wanted to note a story worth mentioning here. The fake news law in Singapore is as absurd as the super heavy dark matter propositions, and the academics expressing concern are right on the money in this article in the danger of criminalizing that which opposes mainstream belief. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. That video to watch again, energy from space. The shift has begun. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.